10 Scary Ghost Videos The Phantom The first ghost video for today was recorded on a CCTV camera on a farm somewhere in Chile and is apparently footage of a quote, real ghost caught on camera. Captured on a CCTV camera, a mysterious dark shadowy figure can be seen floating on the left side of the screen. The shadowy figure almost appears to be moving, then as the people get closer to it, it quickly disappears out of sight. So, what do you think this is? Is this a real ghost caught on camera as the uploader claims? You tell me. If you're a fan of scary videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. Paranormal Activity this next paranormal video comes from one of my favourite paranormal investigation channels on YouTube, Ghost Theory. Joe and Elliot visit an old abandoned house located miles out in the middle of a forest, and the house is said to be haunted. The ghost hunters start their paranormal investigation at the haunted house, and immediately begin hearing strange knocks and bangs echoing throughout the abandoned property. And at one point, Elliot's camera mysteriously dies and erases all of its files which has never ever happened before. Then, later in the video, the ghost hunters end up capturing something rather difficult to explain. I'm fascinated already by what's happened. Yeah, I'm trying to almost put it to the back of my mind and just let's see. See mm. if what kind of things are actually here. Music room? Yeah? I, I don't think it worked. Can I have a go? Shall I? No, I'm gonna have a go at it, I'm just... Now look! <laughs> <laughs> I've told you what. <laughs> now you fucking <better> play! <laughs> Good job! <laughs> it does look pretty creepy up there, you know? What's your name? <laughs> if it fucking spoke, I'd be not nick it in your face. It's like candy. <laughs> Bathroom? Well, lack of. Oh shit, I just go straight downstairs. That's the kitchen, so yeah, that makes sense. So he's stolen the kitchen and the bathroom. Makes sense. But left. Okay. Why does it stink up here? Is it you? No. Why are the doors shut? Apart from that one. And that one. Which room shall we go in? You talking to me? Oh, there's a knock. What would you want? Oh, wow! Whoa! Face that. I scared the me. Did you touch it? No, I did not. I think I caught that on camera. I'm not joking. I jumped so much I gave myself whiplash. <laughs> so we went upstairs during the look around and for some reason all of the doors were shut. So Elliot decided to ask out to the spirits which door we should go through first. And then I think it was the first door on the left we heard a knock come through from the inside. So I went up to the door because he was about to knock on it to see if we could get the knock to, to answer back. And then it's as if someone punched the door really fast from the outside or just jolted it open from the inside. And you can see I didn't touch it. it you, I wasn't, I'm not fully in frame, so it's not totally obvious, but I definitely did not touch that door. Both my feet were firm on the ground and my, my arm must have been about three inches away before it actually opened. Ow. I've just caught that on camera. That's amazing. That's just moved on camera. I heard a knock from in it. Yeah, you said which room should we go in? And then... You hear a knock, and then that just opened itself. Okay, can I just point out, right, if... It's dragging. Oh. You know the dragging? Yeah. That we heard? I'm going to get in there. 
Right, I'm just going to say, if that was a ghost, just saying, yeah. they're incredibly strong. While Joe and Elliot are upstairs, they notice a strange smell and that all the doors are closed. Then Elliot asks, which room should we go in? And then a knock is heard from the door right next to them. And then, out of nowhere, the whole door moves all on its own, as if something inside the room wants the ghost hunters to enter. Joe and Elliot take a look inside the room, but there's no one in there. The pair continue their investigation, keen to contact whatever presence resides in the abandoned house. And at around the 35 minute mark, they capture something very, very creepy. We're calling out to any spirits. Can you make a sound? Did someone just walk up the stairs? Are you on the stairs? It sounds exactly like us walking. I would say it sounds a bit more heavier than us walking. It's too thumpy, it's just a... But not the bit in between, like the shuffle. Yeah, it's just... Someone tapping the foot. Like heels. Yeah. Do you want me to whistle again? We well, actually we did when we heard the whistle earlier. Do you think it was almost like like it enjoys whistling? Mm -hmm. That was loud. Hello? As Joe and Elliot are upstairs in the haunted house, a loud knock followed by footsteps can be clearly heard walking along the wooden floorboards of the abandoned house. The pair mention they can even feel the force of the footsteps, as if something we can't see just walked up the stairs towards them. Elliot whistles again, and an even louder sound is heard coming from one of the upstairs rooms, but when they go to check, no one's there. Ghost Theory's viewers were left stunned by these creepy captures 
creatures inside this haunted house, and the pair have earned a reputation as being one of the few legitimate paranormal investigation channels on YouTube. I myself and their viewers have no doubt that the strange occurrences they encountered in this abandoned house are real. But what do you think? Did Joe and Elliot from the YouTube channel Ghost Theory capture evidence of paranormal activity inside this abandoned house? You tell me. The Possession I found this next ghost video a while back, but couldn't find much information about it. From watching the video, the footage was recorded on a parking lot CCTV camera when what looks like an apparition of something appears on the camera. Something white appears behind a person walking before it dissipates, never to be seen again. At first, the strange white thing appears to follow the person, but then it looks like it enters inside her, as if it's a demonic entity searching for its next subject. But what do you think? Could this be something paranormal? Let me know down below. Haunted this terrifying video comes from TikTok, uploaded by username who zero. Username who zero claims his home is haunted by a malicious dark entity and that it's been tormenting him for months. In the following clips you're about to see, username who zero is awoken by loud sounds coming from somewhere in his home. He grabs his phone and goes to investigate. Hey, ogólnie, to od jakiegoś czasu cały czas Something can be heard crashing in another part of Username's house. He gets up and the light outside his room can be seen flickering on and off. Then the tap in his bathroom turns on. He checks inside, but no one's there. Then as he's walking away, the light in his corridor goes out. Confused, he turns it back on, but then it goes off again. In this next clip, taken a couple of nights later, the paranormal activity inside his home intensifies. Godziny, cały czas mi coś napada w drzwi. Banging can be heard on username's door. He opens the door, but no one's there. He steps out into the hallway and his bedroom door slams shut behind him. Then when he opens the door, a chair slides across the floor right in front of him. This next clip is taken from the following night. When username is relaxing watching a movie on his laptop, he notices something very odd happening outside his bedroom. What? Yeah, yeah. 
ja pierdo. Co jest kurwa? As username is relaxing in bed, he notices his hallway light outside his bedroom is flickering on and off. Then the door handle slowly tilts and the door begins to open, followed by three loud knocks, which some people believe to be associated with a witch's curse. Username who gets up and goes to take a look and he finds his bathroom light on and the tap running again. But when he checks in his bathroom, bizarrely, the room is empty. Then when he passes his kitchen, the entire room has been trashed. And if you look here, when he passes the kitchen on his way to the bathroom, everything's how it should be. The next clip was recorded the next night. Username who again decides to relax and watch a movie when he notices something out the corner of his eye. Dzisiaj tak spędzam noc. The door handle to username's bedroom can be seen tilting up and down. Then loud banging sounds can be heard echoing off his bedroom door. He yells at whatever is there and the banging stops for a moment before even louder banging can be heard. Kurwa, A night later, the banging happens again. Furious at what is causing it, username leaps out of bed and rushes to confront whatever it is, but doesn't find anyone, only the tap running again. Then he hears something crash in his hallway. He spins around and his coat falls off its hanger and username begins to panic. Then as he starts walking away, if you look to the left, a piece of cutlery mysteriously flies straight at him. Then as he's looking in his kitchen, a pan all of a sudden falls off and crashes to the floor. He yells in fear, then his bedroom door slams shut right in front of him. In this next clip, username returns home and finds his home has been Trashed. Ja pierdolę. Co tu się kurwa dzieje? Ja pierdolę. What the f yeah. Username's bathroom door slams shut right next to him and the light in his hallway can be seen flicking on and off. He finds his tap running again, but no one's in the bathroom. He tries to open his bedroom door, but something on the other side is forcing it shut. In this final clip, username is awoken again. He mentions he's fed up of this and then this happens. 
Ej, ja pierdolę, naprawdę już mam dość, cały czas słyszę, jakby mi coś kurwa dział po przedpokoju, już naprawdę mam dość, nie mogę spać. Jak widzicie, specjalnie poprzesuwałem wszystkie rzeczy, bo kurwa, mam już dość patrzenie na te pierdolone drzwi. Ja pierdolę. Nie. O kurwa, co jest? Uuu. Nie. Uuu. Username's bedroom door can be heard rattling and banging. When he opens it up, nobody's there. He then hears something behind him, and when he turns around, the chair can be seen sliding across the floor mysteriously all on its own. Username who jumps back in fear before the video ends there. TikTok viewers have been left frightened by these creepy videos uploaded by username who zero and he has not been heard from or seen since he uploaded this final clip to TikTok. In fact, it seems that these videos have been deleted from his TikTok account entirely. So the question is, what do you think? Was username who being tormented by something evil or was it all just for views? You tell me. Poltergeist activity. This next creepy clip was uploaded to YouTube by Daniel Castell over 10 years ago. The video is titled Real Poltergeist Ghost and is apparently video evidence of a real haunting recorded somewhere in Coahuila, Mexico. Apparently, the person who recorded the video had been suffering terrifying paranormal activity in their home almost immediately after moving in. And they later learnt that prior to moving in, the house was used by satanic worshippers to conjure up evil spirits and demons. After discovering this, the man went to the church for help and asked for a priest to bless his house. The church agreed, but first, the man had to provide them with video evidence of exactly what was going on. The man went home, set up a static camera and left it rolling. And this is what was caught. The man can be seen sleeping on his bed, then all of a sudden, a loud rumbling sound can be heard. Then, his bedroom door mysteriously opens all by itself. The door then begins to close, and a loud growl is then heard, followed by rattling. The man gets up to check what's going on, and then a few moments later, something can be seen moving his bed sheets. The rumbling sounds can be heard getting louder, before all of a sudden, it stops. Then the sound of footsteps can be heard slowly approaching the man's bedroom before the door slowly shuts mysteriously by itself and then the sounds of running can be heard. So what do you think happened here? Is this real poltergeist activity as the uploader claims? Let me know what you think in the comments section. The Peaker 
This next creepy video comes from the Japanese ghost hunting channel Gakuburu TV Ghost Busters, where they visit an abandoned building rumoured to be haunted by several ghosts. The pair begin the video by exploring the abandoned building, and not long into their exploration, they capture something creepy on camera. <laughs> Did you catch it? The pair hear a strange noise, and when they pan their camera towards an open doorway, a strange white thing appears for a split second before ducking out of view. At the time, the pair didn't notice it, but Gakuburu TV claims that when they reviewed the footage, it made their blood turn cold. Gakuburu TV's viewers say that this strange white thing looks like a face of someone or something peeking out at them. But what do you think this could be? Leave a comment below with your thoughts. Don't let it see you. This next creepy video comes from one of my favourite ghost hunters, Franco TV. Frank returns to a haunted cemetery in Lima, Peru, where he previously captured some rather strange activity, including a horrifying laugh that he couldn't find the source of. In this video, uploaded a couple of weeks ago, Frank makes his way through the cemetery in the dead of night, alone, armed only with his night vision camera, and captures this. Anything moving or echoing? Somebody's whistling. I don't want to turn on the flashlight. Holy shit, that's creepy. I swear if I see somebody peeking around the corner. I'm walking the other way. looking through the night vision with you guys so I could see anything. What's crazy is that they're not even moving. I have to be careful because I did hear what sound like a woman talking and there is what looks like someone standing there. At least from my perspective, it looks like someone just standing there, not even moving an inch. But uh, I'm gonna go back in again because I guess that's the point of it, so I was just to go check it out. But, um, it got quiet. And the whistling is haunting. 
me see if I could go down the staircase area. Turn off the IR for a second. As Frank makes his way through the cemetery, he hears whistling in the distance. He approaches slowly and cautiously, not wanting to come across anyone in the dark. However, when he turns a corner, he spots a mysterious dark figure standing motionless in front of him. Frank is in absolute darkness, which means whoever or whatever this is must be standing there in this creepy cemetery all alone in the pitch black. Obviously not wanting to get close to this creepy figure standing in the darkness, Frank decides to take a different route and then out of nowhere, a ball mysteriously bounces and rolls towards Frank, but where did it come from? Frank Frank's viewers were left creeped out to f by this creepy dark figure standing motionless in the darkness and say that it's a good job he chose a different path because who knows what could have happened. So what do you think this creepy dark figure could be? Is it a ghost or just a strange person standing still all alone in this dark cemetery? Whatever the case, I'm sure you'll agree it's very, very creepy. Did you see it? This next creepy video comes from the ghost hunting and paranormal investigation channel, Hunting the Unknown. In the video, Alex ventures out to conduct a solo investigation at a haunted house, which was built originally as a manor house and then became a home for the elderly before eventually closing its doors for good. Alex begins his exploration down in the basement where he mentions he feels as if he's being watched and followed. He then makes his way upstairs to the ground floor and ends up capturing something thing which he can't explain. I'm just now going to the first floor. See the weird little spike thing. Hello, is anyone here with me? Oh, I'm getting little spikes. Oh. Hello? God, that just moved on its own. What the f this EMF's going crazy, man. Hello?
Can I help you? to see someone there. As Alex is on the ground floor, his EMF detector begins to spike. Then he hears something in another room. He enters with caution and the wheelchair moves back with force, scaring the life out of Alex. All the while, his EMF detector can be heard spiking like crazy. Then, as Alex is exploring one of the corridors, he hears movement coming from somewhere in the darkness. He calls out, hello, but gets no reply. Alex then decides to use a spirit box where some very strange answers come through. However, as he's walking down a corridor, he pans his camera past a room and a mysterious dark figure can be seen sitting on a chair, but Alex doesn't notice it. He continues on, but hears something behind him. He goes back to look and the dark figure that was sat in the chair is no longer there. Alex's viewers were left horrified by this frightening moment with the wheelchair and this strange dark figure sitting in the corner corner of the room and Alex claims that this video was quote the scariest night of his life but what do you think did Alex capture paranormal activity at this abandoned manor house you tell me the disturbance the next creepy clip comes from TikTok uploaded by Julian Petit P and is apparently body cam footage released after police officers attended a haunted house. The clip starts out with officers asking the homeowner what's the reason for the call and she explains that when she returned home she found the front door open and suspected that someone may have broken in. The cops enter the house, they scan the ground floor but they find nothing suspicious. However, when they enter a bedroom things get a little bit strange. Anyone inside? I'm gonna check downstairs, you get upstairs. Police, anyone inside, make yourself known.
downstairs clearance. Clear. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're done. As the officer is in the bedroom, a loud bang startles him. He checks inside, but no one's there. The officer makes his way upstairs, where he notices something on the edge of the door. He calls out, and then the door can be seen slowly opening. He enters, and his camera begins to malfunction, and when he checks the room, no one's in there. Then, the camera malfunctions again, and another door can be seen opening right in front of him. The cop scans the room, but finds no one. However, as he's walking back down the stairs the loud sound of running can be heard behind him he spins around in fear and once again no one's there tiktok viewers were left horrified by this creepy body cam footage with many saying that the house is most definitely haunted however others argue that it's simply just staged but what do you think did this police officer capture paranormal activity on his body cam you tell me the watcher and the wanderer the final ghost video comes from the popular Italian ghost hunting channel PIT, where they visit the Greenwood Cemetery located in Brooklyn, USA. The team start the video by exploring the cemetery, hoping to communicate with any spirits that may be present in the area. They use a couple of ghost hunting apps on their phones. Debbie uses a spirit box type of app, while Paolo chooses to use a special type of ghost finding thermal imaging filter for his camera. The paranormal investigation team eventually reach a large tombstone at the top of a hill. Paolo decides that this is the perfect spot to use his ghost finding camera filter and snap some pictures. And this is what he caught. Topo. Cosa c'è? Io scattato qualche strano. Cosa? Purtroppo non avevo. Oh, adesso ho attaccato il filmato. Guarda. Di fianco all'albero? Lì dici? Ok, lo vedo, lo vedo, lo vedo, ora lo vedo, ora lo vedo, ora lo vedo. Sei impazzito? Sì, sì, sì. Corpo e testa. Ok, ok, lo vedo. Corpo visto. e testa. Ok, l'ho visto. Sei sicuro che è un tipo e non è una rapide? L'hai fot fotografato con altri filtri? Eh no. Te lo cerco se vuoi. Lo stesso posto, perché è il cartello. E quando tu mi hai detto, perché le stavo riguardando, quando tu mi hai detto, eh, lì sopra c'è una piazza. E, sì, e quell'albero lì c'è il sentiero, sì. Quell'albero lì sotto. Sì, sì. Scusami, a me sembra un tizio questo. Captured on Paolo's phone, a mysterious figure can be seen standing by a tree. But who is it? The team become confused as they haven't seen anyone in this particular part of the cemetery the whole time they've been there. They decide to move to the area where this mysterious figure was seen. Paolo snaps more pictures, but this time no one appears in the photo, or so they thought. È difficile guardare queste qua, eh? perché è bello questo filtro.
Ecco guarda che io sono di nuovo deficiente. Cosa guardi? Fai vedere? Cosa è successo? Ma non ti sembra di nuovo una persona? Qua? Ah no, qua! Porca ok! Troia. Ma cazzo, non l'ho visto quella! No, quella è proprio una persona, Paolo! Eh no, questa è una persona, guarda! Ma dai, Raga, ma io continuo a... Raga, io continuo a beccare gente, ve lo dico! Non c'è nessuno, che cazzo c'è qua? Dove, dove eri rivolto? Captured mid movement. A mysterious figure can be seen in the photo snapped by Paolo. The figure appears to be walking nearby, but Paolo explains that nobody has been seen the whole time they've been there. The team becomes spooked by the fact that they've caught a second mysterious figure wandering the cemetery when nobody is around. The paranormal investigation team's viewers say that these mysterious figures captured in the photos are likely to be spirits wandering the cemetery. But what do you think? Did PIT capture two ghosts at the Greenwood Cemetery? Hmm, you tell me. Thanks so much for watching. I've noticed a large number of my viewers aren't subscribed yet. So this is just another friendly reminder that if you enjoyed this video, to please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you'll never miss another video. And if you want to watch more scary videos just like this one, you can click any of these scary videos shown on the screen. See you next week.